Okay. We're here at the Global Online Marketplaces Summit in Miami with uh, Matt Weinberg from Drive Motors. So Matt, thank you very much for joining me here today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Um, what does Drive Motors do? So we help the largest dealer groups and automotive brands in the country help sell cars online. Okay, how do you do that? So really it's a lot about perception. So how do we help the customer get through as much of the process as possible yeah. and feel like they bought the car online? Technically you can't actually buy a car online. Yeah. There's paperwork that needs to be done, yeah. but it hasn't stopped Carvana as an example of actually passing some publicly traded groups already in used car sales. Yeah. And I think a good, another good example from real estate is Quicken Loans and Rocket Mortgage. Okay. Right? Even though you can't do a mortgage online, Quicken Loans and Rocket Mortgage has become the number one originator of mortgages right. in the United States by telling everyone that you can. And so that's okay. what this is really about, is how do we save the customer time, make them feel like they bought the car online? And that's really their number one complaint, is how long it takes to buy the car. Right, so, so you look at the end-to-end -end process of Correct. buying a car and identify um, all the ways in which that can be made far more efficient and effective, and Correct. then you work with various businesses out there to implement those processes. Correct. Right? Correct. And, 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 and in that, in that um, analysis, where are the areas that are the hardest to fix? The hardest areas to fix are going to be payments, like making sure that payments are right because it's unique to each person. Right. So like if you talk to a car dealer, they're going to tell you that structuring a car deal is really challenging. Just like structure, structuring a mortgage can be challenging. Mm -hmm. It's very unique to the individual. So making sure that we have that data is really, really critical. So we're pulling data from a lot of places right. to make sure that we're not creating a situation where we're promising the customer something that we can't deliver on. Okay, that makes sense. Now how's, so, so when you look at the US online motoring market, who would you say are the, the leading lights of people who are doing this very well, who are taking the systems and the processes and applying them to their business model to make it easier to buy a car? Yeah. And there's, there's different ways to look at that because you've got in-store versus online. Yeah. And so some are taking the approach of, hey, I've got to fix in-store first and then move to online. Mm -hmm. um, but we're seeing Asbury Automotive, Group One Automotive are doing a really, really good job of selling online. So like Asbury's up to 3,600 units uh, last quarter, they right. just announced that they did online. So Asbury Group One are absolutely doing a really good job. Okay. They still have a lot of work to do. Yes. We still have a lot of work to do as an industry, yes. but we're getting there. Now when you say selling online, what, what does that really mean? Does it mean I go online, I see the BMW X5, I click on it, I enter some details, I do the financing and it turns up at my door? So actually 95 to 98% of the time, even when the customer goes through online checkout, yeah. they will come in and pick up the vehicle at right. the dealership. Uh, part of that is they want to see, touch, smell, feel that car, right? <laughs> it's, just, it's still an emotional purchase. Yes, yes. Um, but when I say online, I'm saying that we're moving most of the buying process right. to the internet. And sometimes automotive dealers think about it the way you just talked about it, like, hey, you know, they think about online buying as delivery because that's what Carvana is doing, but yes. they don't have retail locations. Right. So I call it a click and mortar world is right. where my dealers are headed because I'm going to click as the customer, but then I'm going to show up at your mortar location. Fantastic. So, so we're really talking about a click and mortar world, and that's what we're trying to help our dealers achieve. Okay, excellent. Well, thank you very much for coming to the conference. Absolutely. And I'm looking forward to hearing your presentation later. Thank you. Thank you.